Okay, thank you so much for giving me um, time, okay? So now, Koi, before we're going to move on to continue our lesson for today, because we were not able to finish yet our lesson last time, right? Okay, so allow me to have an energizer first, okay, so that we can be able to move our body, okay? So I'm going to show you a video, and uh, what we're going to do is we just have to follow what they are doing in the video, okay? Okay, so it's time for us to shake our body coil, okay, for a while. So... Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. I cannot find it. Okay. It's here. Okay, this one. Yes. Okay, are you ready, Koi? Ready. Yes, okay. Uh, I hope you can see this one. Can you see this? Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, Let's try to have the so-called an action song. Let's follow. So I hope you like that one. That's an action song. We were able to move our body coy, right? right? Yeah. Actually, uh, we need to move our body so that we cannot be able to what? To yawn. Okay. You know what is yawn? What? As if you are falling asleep, right? So in order for us uh, not to fall asleep, we have to do this kind of activity. Okay? Okay. Okay. Um, how is your feeling right now? Can you say again? How are you feeling right now? Are you happy? Are you I sad? Feel, I feel energetic. Okay. You, 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 you felt energetic because you were able to do this kind of activity, right? right? Yeah. So from now on, we're going to do a lot of activities before we're going to have our lesson, okay? Okay. okay, now, are you ready to ready. move on to our lesson now? Okay, so before we're going to continue our lesson, Koi, I want you to do this activity first. So we're going to have a pronunciation drill, okay? okay. So we have to make sure that every now and then we have a class, we're going to have a pronunciation drill. Okay, in order for us to improve our pronunciation. Could it be okay? 
Okay, I hope you can see the presentation. Can you see it? I see. Yeah, very good. Okay, let's try to do it now. Can you read them? Go. Number one, love. Two, tori. Two, two wrists. Two wrists. Okay, again, say it again. Two wrists. That's correct. Number three, teeth. Teach. Teach. Uh, number it. four, recipes. Recipes. Recipe. Our oh, recipe. Again. Number five, sitter. Sit. Lunch. 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 Seven, ready. Pretty. Pretty. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, if we're going to say this one as if it's it's a hard uh, it's a, it's an I, but this one is an E. But if we're going to pronounce that, it's pretty. Okay. This one is recipes. Can you can you read this one again? Recipes. Very good. One more time. Recipes. That's correct. Two wrists. Two wrists. That's correct. One more time. Recipes. Okay. Uh, fritty. Fritty again. Fritty. Okay. What about this one? Lunch. Very good. This one. Love. Very good. This one. Dish. Okay. Lunch. Very good. Again. Uh, this. Okay. okay. This one. Um, a tourist. Two. Two wrists. Uh, two wrists. Okay. That's it. Again, one more time. Two wrists. Very good. Okay. Last okay. one. Recipes. That's it. Okay. So remember them on how you're going to pronounce that one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, so let's continue our lesson that was weren't able to finish last time. So again, we are on the vocabulary part. And of course, under the vocabulary part, we have the so-called collocations so when you say collocations koi what are this mean um collocation that's the word we often combine to message um, yes to form collocation yes so to form a collocation so these are group of words actually so these are words that we use them okay actually we use that one together with with other words that we have in a particular conversation, right? right? So every day, if you are an English speaker, we use this one. Maybe in conversation, maybe in asking questions. So we call this one as collocations. Can you say it again? Collocations. Very good. So, for example, we use the verb play with the noun soccer so the noun is soccer but we have to use play instead of you of using the do or using the go right again going back to our previous lessons when do we say when do we use the do when do we use the play and when do we use the go um for example do exercise yes so just like yeah so just like we did, okay, a while ago before our class starts, we do an exercise. We do not say we go and exercise because that's wrong. So instead of saying go, we have to say we do an exercise because we moved our body. Okay? So it's do. What about play? Play, um, play soccer. Play. Yes. Yes. So about it's a game okay it's about sports so we don't have to say to do basketball okay we do not say to do basketball to do soccer but we have to say to play soccer or basketball okay okay, okay. and what about go go um go ski yeah so if you're going to go somewhere in yeah. order for you to make maybe fun so you have to use the go there instead of i do skiing okay because we cannot say i do skiing it should be i go skiing okay then this are this these are wrong so this yeah. these are incorrect i do sucker i go sucker so this one are wrong okay 
So what are we going to say to make it correct? I play soccer. Okay, the noun here, soccer, and the verb that have been used in here is play. Okay, do not say do or go. Okay, what are those other collocations called? Other collocation, for example, give someone a ride. Yes, yeah, so what else? And have an idea. Make okay. friends. And take a trip, okay? So yes. give someone a ride. So what does it mean when you say give someone a ride? What do you think that comes uh -huh. on your mind? We you this we you we use some kind of transportation to test someone together um, to um, to location. Okay, and of course, if you when we say give someone a ride, that means let's say for example, if you're riding a vehicle, right, yeah. and then uh, you 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 pass by in a particular friend that is just walking. Okay, so what are you going to do? So you're going to give someone a ride. So what are you going to do? So you have to ask your friend, okay, come on. Okay, you have to ride now because we have a vehicle or we have a car, right? Okay, then take a trip. That means... That's a trip. That trip we plan to go a trip. Somewhere, okay? If you are if you are planning to go somewhere for for fun activities, maybe for three days or less than less than less than a day or maybe or one day whatsoever, okay? So we have to say take a trip. Okay? Then what about when I say have an idea? Have an idea does mean some some um, IT come into our mind. Yes, very good. So that means if you have in mind, that's why I'm asking you, right? A, a teacher would ask a student most of the time. Why? Because we wanted to what? To know your own idea in order for you to show us your ideas. That is why teachers ask questions to the students most of the time okay then when you say make friends of course it's very simple right when you say make friends you would you like to have more friends yes yes so therefore you have to make friends okay so that is how we're that is how we're going to use that okay if you wanted to have more friends therefore make friends Okay, as simple as that. Did you understand it, Koi? Understand. Yeah, very good. Okay, now moving on to our activity number five. So in its collocation, circle the verb. Of course, we're, we cannot do that one, okay, because we're doing online. So just tell me the verb and then tell me the noun. Verb first and then the noun. Okay, number one. Can you read the sentence, Koi? Lisa and Nora are having coffee together. Okay, can you say Nora? Nora. Okay, that's right. So having coffee together. Tell me the verb. Um, are. Okay, are having. Okay, uh, are having. Yes, so are having because there is a word having there. Okay, so the, the verbs are are having and then the noun now and um apple uh, what uh, what, what what is the noun in here in this particular sentence coffee okay yes coffee okay of course we we're, we're not we're not dealing here lisa and nora because we're talking about coffee okay of course nora and lisa uh, nora lisa and nora are of course nouns but in this particular sentence, we're not referring to this person, persons. We are referring to coffee, which is a noun. Okay? Number two. Let's make plans for Saturday night. Yes, yeah, so let's make plans for Saturday night. Of course, it's very obvious. Verb? Uh, verb make. Yeah. Noun? 
Uh, now, plans. Plans. Very good. Number three. I have an idea. Let's go to the zoo. Okay. What's the verb? Uh, have. Okay. And what is that noun? Um, idea. Idea. Very good. Okay. And of course, in the other clause, we call this one as clause also. And then the second clause that we have, let's go to the zoo. Again, we still have the noun in here, right? What is that? Uh, the zoo. Uh, no, no, that's the zoo. And I what about the verb? Go. It's go. Very good. Next, number four. But of course, we're not we're not asking here. Okay, we just we just answered that. Okay, number four. Josie has learned learning Spanish. Okay, so it's very obvious that the verb in there is uh, has and, and fun. Yeah, it's now. fun. Next, number five. Mary takes a walk every day. Okay, so what's the verb? Um, takes. Okay, and what's the? Um, noun? the noun? Walk. Okay, it's walk. Okay, next. He makes friends with new people easily. That's correct. You pronounce the word easily, okay? But you have to emphasize the S in there could become Z. So easily, okay? Easy. Very good. Number seven. Oh no! What's your, your what's your answer in here? Verb. Uh, uh makes. Makes. And then yes. friends. Now, okay. Next, number seven. Are you hungry? Have a snack. A snack. Yes. Snack. Oh. Snack. Can you say it? Snack or snack? Snack. Okay. Or if you want it more slang, they should they should say this a snack. But if you want just a just only not so slang. We have to pronounce this as snack. Okay, so which do you want? The snack or the snack? Oh, <laughs> okay. snack. Yeah, it's a snack. It's just, just the normal pronunciation of it, okay? So that what's the, the verb in here? Uh, have and, and nap. then snack would be the noun. Snack. Okay, that's correct. Next. I am tired. I am taking a vacation. Okay, vacation. Vacation. Okay. You have to emphasize vacay because when you say vacay, that's the other term for vacation, right? The vacay. So we're having a vacay in the Philippines. So it's vacay. And uh, vacay could also become vacation. Okay? Okay. Again, so what's the verb? Um, taking. And the no. noun is? Patient. Vacation. Okay, number nine. Tell me a joke. I need to hear something funny. Yes. Verb. Uh, tell. Okay. And then now he joke. Joke. Very good. And number ten. Can you give me a ride to the mall? Yes. So what's the noun? Um, ride. A verb. It's, by, verb is the ride. And then what's the, what about the noun? Um, a ride. Yeah. Ride also is the noun. What about uh, the verb? Yes. The verb give. Again? Um, the verb is give. Okay. I'll give, yeah, yeah, okay. So the noun in there is a ride, is ride, and then the verb is give. Very good. But of course, we can also, we can also use in, in other sentence, the word ride there. Okay, how are we going to make this one as a, as a verb? Um, can you drive me to the mall? Okay, okay. And uh, aside from that, we can also make this one as present continuous. So uh, what are we going to do with it? Present continuous. So wh what happened to the word right if we're going to make this one as present continuous? Present continuous. Um, that becomes. Are you riding me? Riding. Very good. Okay. So you just have to add only the ing form of the verb. Very good. You still remember our lesson last time, huh? Okay, that's good. Now, what have you observed in forming the collocation skoi? What have you observed? Um, it was it was there. It was um, uh, marked in there. The the it's it was bo bolder okay compared to the other ones like having coffee, make plans, have an idea. Again, these are all 
collocations. If you try to put them together, that becomes or that makes a collocation, right? Now, what you have, what have you observed? What pair of words a collocation has? Um, it's it has a, it has a it's a a combination of verb and um, a verb and a noun. Very good. Congratulations. Okay, that is I that that's that that actually the answer that I want to hear you. Okay, so it's a combination of verb and a noun that makes a collocation. Okay, okay. So I hope you do understood now what does it mean? What does this mean when you say when you say collocation? Okay. 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 Now um, I just wanted you to do only two sentence koi. Okay. Just do. Um, Sentence, uh, let's do collocation number one and collocation number two. Can you give me a, a sentence using the following collocations? Um, one and two only. Okay, number one, I you to my friend whenever I have a holiday, I have a, a vacation. Vacation, yes. Okay, so you've used there the word to make or the words to make plans and those are collocations okay what about number two koi to have an idea um i have i usually have not an idea when i writing in english okay so is 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 it is it um is it uh in real that you don't have an idea when it comes to writing English? <laughs> yes, sometimes. I think no, because you do have a lot of ideas. You know that? Yeah, yes. I do believe in you because you do have a lot of ideas. Maybe you cannot, you cannot put that one um, in writing, but yes. I know you do have a lot of ideas in your mind. Okay, but when it comes to writing, you cannot put them together. Okay, yeah, that's why you're learning English with me because I am going to help you put them together. Okay, okay, so thank you very much for giving me uh, the best sentence that you have because I know you have your own ideas. Okay. Okay. And do not be shy in showing your ideas, Koi. Okay? All of us, all of us does his own ideas. So we were going to show it. Okay, whether it's wrong, okay, so don't 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 um surrender. Okay? So you just have to strive and strive and strive. Even it's wrong. Okay, so we just have to correct that. Okay? Okay, okay next. Move on. Oh no. Moving on now. So we are going to uh, focus on the grammar now. So what particularly our lesson in grammar? Uh, this one are very just uh, simple. This is all about pronouns. Yes, okay. So we know already what are pronouns, right? Yeah, what are pronouns again? Pronoun. Like he, she, they, it. Yes, okay. So pronouns, remember this one. If, if your teacher would ask you, what is a pronoun or what are pronouns, you have to answer this one. Pronouns replaces or pronoun replaces the noun. Okay, replaces the nouns. Okay, like for example, what word we're going to replace with the word Anna? Anna, she. Yes, okay. Because Anna is a girl, so we have to use the pronoun she. Okay, let's say for example, okay, um, Stephen. Stephen. Stephen, what word are we going to replace the word Stephen? For now, he. It's he. Very good, because Stephen is a boy. Okay, what if we're talking about a thing? So what word we're going to use in order to replace, let's say, for example, umbrella? 
So you for now eat. Eat. Very good. See? So we had able to study that one last time. So those are all under um, the subject pronoun. Right? Uh, what's the object pronoun of I? I, me. Very good. What's the object pronoun of? Um, okay. She. She. Her, no. Her, very good. What yes. about the uh, the object pronoun of he? He, his. Okay, his or we can also say it's him also. Okay, he, he or um his or him. Okay, uh, his could, could, can can also be used in the subject pronoun. Okay. Okay. Uh, but when we say him, of course, it can be used in the object pronoun. Okay. Very good boy. So those were those were our lesson last time. Okay, and uh, I'm very um, I'm very what is one happy because you were able to remember them. Okay, okay. At this time, we are going to put that one in reality. So we are now studying pronouns now. Okay, example. Of course, these are just very simple. I know you can do this one. Uh, with flying colors. So Sarah and Jill went to the mall. So then they went to restaurants. So what word we are going to replace Sarah and Jill? Wait, I have a question. That's, I noticed that you were say stuff um, with flying colors. So what yeah. is What does it mean by flying colors? Yes. Ah, okay. So when I say flying colors, Actually, this one is what we called um, a, um, what is one? Uh, we call that one as, no, actually when I say flying colors, you do it very, uh, you, you do this one excellently. Oh, okay, so that is with flying colors. I keep on telling you this one. You do this one in, with flying colors. So you do the particular activity with uh, excellently. Okay, excellently because you you perfect that activity. That is okay. what we mean by flying colors, not a color that is flying. Okay, okay, okay? that's the, not the not that the not the real thing. A color yes. that is flying. Yes. Okay, so I we have a term for that. I forgot. Okay, maybe I have to to recall that one one of these days. Okay, okay. okay now going back to our lesson now. So Sarah and Jill will be replaced with they. They because Sarah and Jill. And Jill. So two, two person oh. or two nouns together. So if we try to replace them with a pronoun, we have to use object pronoun they. Ah, uh, not not object but subject pronoun they. Right. Yes. Okay, because the subjects here are Sarah and Jill. So therefore, our, our subject pronoun also would what? Would be the same with our subject noun. Okay? Okay. Very good. So next, number two. Can you read the sentence, Koi? Mark likes to play tennis. He enjoys soccer too. Yes, okay. Now look at this one. What word will replace us, Matt? Matt, pronoun he. Okay, it's a pronoun he. And this particular pronoun he is under object or subject pronoun? He's, um, that's from subject pronoun. Subject pronoun, very good, see? So we are now applying all the knowledge that you had in the past, Koi, okay? That you had in the past. So we are now applying it here. Next, number three, Koi. Mika buy many books, but she doesn't always read them. Okay, so Mika buys many books, but she doesn't always read them. Yeah. Okay, how many adjects, uh, how many pronouns rather have been used in this particular sentence? Um, two pronouns. What are those? Uh, she pronoun and them also pronoun. Okay, she is 
a pronoun of Mika. Okay. Replaces the word Mika, which is a noun. And Mika is a girl, so therefore we have to use she. Right? Very good. And the word she, if we are talking about the, 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 the kinds of pronoun, she is the subject pronoun. And them in here is them is um replace the noun of books. Yeah, replaces the word books, which is a noun. So instead of saying again, instead of saying it, again, if we're talking of it, we're talking only of singular pronoun, right? Only one. But in this particular sentence, we're talking of books, meaning many books. So therefore, we have to replace that with them. Okay, instead of saying, but she doesn't always read it, if we're talking only of one book. But in here, we're talking of many books. Okay, very good. Number four. Um, four. Jesus will keep the ball, and two more will keep his bed. Okay, can you say Ziad? Ziad. Thomas. Thomas. Okay, Ziad Thomas. Ziad Thomas. Okay, very good. So Ziad will kick the ball and Thomas will kick it back. So what pronoun we've been using here? Um, only one. That's, that's? That's the ball and it. Oh, it's. Okay. It very good. So the word, uh, the pronoun in here is it, and it we refer it to. Well, we fly off the ball. The ball. Okay, we're talking only of how many ball? Only one. Only one ball. That's why we have to use it. Now, if we try to replace this one, Ziad will kick the balls, and Thomas will <laughs> kick blank back. So what are we going to use? Um, no. if we're talking of balls, yes. So yeah. So if this would be the sentence, Ziad will kick the balls and Thomas will kick them back. Okay, very good. Next, number five. For hero and college like playing golf, they are really really good too. Yes. So what is our adjective in here? Um, they are for now of two person hero. Yes, and Khalid. Okay, very good. So we are replacing the nouns hero and Khalid. Number six, Koi. Mary gave Emma and Tom some videos, and they gave her some books. Okay, so what is our adjective in here? Um, only for now. Uh, ah, adjective, sorry, sorry, not adjective, the pronoun. Okay, what's what's our pronoun in here? Um, pronoun, uh, they. Okay, it's they, okay. Why they? Um, because they rephrase of Emma and Tom. Okay, Mary gave Emma and Tom some videos, and they gave her some books. Okay, Emma and Tom. Okay, yes. next, number seven. Um, Kate's dress is so beautiful. It must be expensive. Okay, it's very obvious. Yeah. The, the pronoun is it, it because it. we're talking about the noun. Kate's dress. Dress. Very good. Number eight. My close friends are always with me when I am in trouble. Okay. So what's the pronoun? Oh, me. Yes. Okay. So me here. Okay. Yes. Um. Yes. Me is. Reply of I. It's okay. Subject. And this one is. Is it a subject pronoun or the object pronoun? Um, object pronouns. Yes, okay, because the, the subject pronoun of this is I, okay? And we have still one here, the word I, right? Okay. Okay, next, number nine. 
I hate shopping. It is just a worst of talk. Okay, so we are talking about pronoun. Um, it. It replaces the noun. Shopping. Shopping. Very good. Number 10. Chocolates often calls me when he needs some when he needs someone to talk to. Very good. So what are, what is our pronoun? He reply Charles. Okay. And then he is also a pronoun, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. But of course we're talking about me here, which is the subject, uh, the object pronoun rather. Okay? Okay. Now do you understand how to use the pronoun? How to locate or identify a pronoun in a sentence, right, Koi? Right. And of course, you can be able to um, identify also which in that particular sentence would be the subject pronoun and would be the object pronoun. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So... You do this one again with flying colors. Flying colors. <laughs> okay, so with flying colors again. Okay, next, move on to the next activity that we have. So complete its sentence with the correct subject or object pronoun now. See? So we still have used the subject or object pronoun in here. Number one. Um, Tom and I play tennis together. We usually win. Very good. Number two. Anna likes to play board games. She plays every weekend. That's correct. Okay, next. I don't like to play golf. I really hate it. Yes. Okay, number four. Mark makes a video and I help him. Yes, that's correct. Then number five. Carlos and Isabel come to my house. They cook dinner. Okay. Number six. John and I go into just a world. Maybe you can join them. Okay, join them. Very good. See? So again, you do you did this one with the flying colors again, right? Um, it's easy for us to identify actually yes. pronouns called, right? Yeah. So remember all the time that pronouns, nouns and pronouns must go, go together, help one another, okay? Because without the noun, we can always replace that one with pronoun, okay? Now, if without the pronoun, you can always use, of course, the noun in there. If you don't know the person, better use what? Noun or pronoun, <laughs> We if best. you don't know the person, let's say, for example, if I don't know your name, so no. what I should use? We, you, he. Yes, okay. So instead of telling the person, what's his name? Okay, so therefore we can say, ah, his name is like this. Okay, or he. Okay, we're going to, 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 to point the person he because he is a a boy or if it's a girl she but we don't know yet their names right right, right. very good so that's why nouns are very important also in a sentence because without a noun the sentence would be nothing okay are you favorable with it koi yes of course and then pronouns are also important because without pronouns, we cannot replace the nouns. Yes. What if, if we don't know the name of the person? So what are we going to do if we don't have a pronouns, right? <laughs> yes. Right. That's why that's very, very important. And of course, all of the parts of speech. Okay? okay. So what are the parts of speech again? Of course, it's the noun the pronouns, the verbs, the adjectives, Adjective. adverbs, preposition, preposition, conjunction, okay? So those are the parts of the speech. And we will going to study them here, okay? okay? Now, we all know last time, we all know what are adjectives, right? 
Right. And then we, we we have another lesson all about the pronouns also. That's why we learn there about the subject and the object pronoun also. And we still have another this one. Okay. Why we do this one? In order for you to master them. That's the reason. Okay. So that you will not going to forget our previous lessons. That's why sometimes we incorporate in here. Okay. Hello English has this very good presentation for the students. So you are very lucky because you enrolled in Hello English. Okay, that's why Hello English. See? <laughs> okay? Okay. So, do you have any questions with this, Koi? Yes. Do you have? No, no, no. Okay, no. you don't have a question. Okay, now let's move on to writing. Oh, again, you are very lucky again because in other tutorial center, you don't have a writing, okay? You can, you can do the writing most of the time, but in Hello English again, you have this particular focus. What are the focus? Right. Vocabulary, of course, vocabulary, grammar, speaking, and writing now yes look at this one i'm still listening also right, right. we have five skills and speaking yes speaking listening writing grammar and vocabulary yes vocabulary so you do have five skills i think that also we should include reading yes Drills also, a lot of drills, right? Pronunciation yes. drills. That's why you're very lucky you enrolled in Hello English. Hello. Okay. Hello. <laughs> That's it. Okay. okay, now let's move on to the writing skills or writing activity now, okay? okay? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Ah, we're done with this one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually we're done with this one about agreeing and yeah. disagreeing. Okay, very good. Perfect. So, we did this one last time. Okay. So, what else we can do? Okay. Of course, we do this one, the brainstorm last time, right? So, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Yes. So, of course, it's the end of the lesson, but of course, we're going to do another lesson. It's a new lesson. So, do you have any question, Koi, before we have to move on to another lesson? Yes, I want to mainly focus on writing and focus on writing and vocabulary. Yeah. Also, I yes. want to learn small location, phrasal verb, and idioms. Yeah, okay. So that's why we're going to move on in preparation for your entrance exam in the high school, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Very good. So you're very lucky to have this particular lessons together, okay? Okay. okay, if you don't have any more questions, allow me to stop this presentation so that I can move on to another presentation. Could it be okay? Okay, yes. Okay, so I should have to okay, move on to another one okay, for a while. Oh, we're very fast in learning this one, huh? I salute you for um, for this particular um, uh, what is one active okay active participation coin okay. okay that's why I'm, I um, I I'm also uh, I like I like to teach you actually because you do have a what is this one a um, an active presentation of the lesson okay wait for a while. Yes. Why is it it's not opening for a while? It's very... Okay, that one. Wait. Okay, so I have to present to you now our new lesson. It's all about Unit 9, okay? So we're done already with unit eight so therefore we have to move on to unit nine are you uh, can you can you be able to see koi yeah i see okay now again remember this one 
um, that's what I'm telling you in Hello English, you're very lucky because we do have a lot of skills that we can develop, okay? Of course, in this particular lesson, we're going to learn listening. We're going to learn also vocabulary, which you want, right? In preparation for your, uh, for your entrance exam. Then we have also grammar. Oh, grammar. Again. Grammar, countable and uncountable again. I guess we're done with this one, right? Yes, we have learned it. Yeah, but it's still different lesson. Okay, anyway, we're just going to, <coughs> sorry, do this one in, in just passing, okay? Yes. Yeah. And yes. Yeah, yes. we have here, what, what, what happened to this one? <laughs> Yeah, it has some something happen. Wait for a while. I have to fix this. Okay, for a while, call. Okay. Ah, yeah. So there's another one in here. So I have to transfer this one. To okay. This one. Okay, for a while. You can transfer. Yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you can you see it now? Yeah, I see. Yeah, okay. Now, let's do the activity under the listening now, okay? So, we're going to read the sentences. Then, which explanation is correct? So, we're going to say, is it A or is it B, okay? Number one, can you read the sentence, Koi? One girl watches low TV show. His apartment is noisy. Okay. So, idea or explanation letter A. Um, very number one B. Ross apartment isn't quiet. Yes, because the, the correct one is letter B because the word noisy because of the word noisy. Oh, why is it there is a number five in here? Wait, wait. Okay, for a while I have to fix this. This one is rent. Ah, okay. So we have to omit this one. Wait for a while. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, so, can you see this one again? Yeah, I see. Okay, very good. So the correct one is, is explanation letter B because the word noisy is the same as when we say isn't quiet. Isn't quiet. Very good. Number two. Actually, uh, this one is is. It's a vocabulary also koi, huh? So yes. you should have to remember this one. Yes. Vocabulary, we can say that vocabulary has its own synonyms and antonyms. Remember that one, huh? You know what is synonyms? Um, yes. Okay, what's synonyms? Syn syn what? Synonyms. Synonym. Yes, synonym are words with the same meaning. Ah. Yes. Antonyms, the opposite. Opposite. Okay. Yeah. The opposite. That is antonyms. Homonyms. You know what's homonyms? Homonyms. Yes. I think it's have a close meaning. Okay. Actually, homonyms, homonyms pronounce them the same, but the meaning not the same. So that's oh. homonyms. Okay. Oh. Homonyms. Okay. Again, huh? Uh, I guess this would come out in the test most of the time. The, the synonym, synonym, when we say synonym, synonymous. We have still the word synonym. Synonyms can also be synonymous. Oh, when we say synonymous, the same meaning. Okay? Oh. Oh. And then antonyms are the opposite. Opposite okay. in meaning. And then homonyms, the same pronunciation but different meaning. Okay? Or remember okay. them, huh? Okay, you have now the idea of what is a synonym, an antonyms, and a homonyms. Okay, now let's try to go to number two, Koi. Number two. Master lies her rivets through, but she sometimes gets lonely. Yes. So what do you think would be the correct explanation? Um, it means master doesn't share her room with someone. Okay, because uh, when you say private, it's, it's just only you, one, yourself. Okay, one person in it. That's why it's private, okay? Can you right. say this one, private? Private. Very good, okay? 
So number one is the correct um, explanation for this one. Number three, Koi. A mass apartment in its great location is on a quiet street near his school. Mm -hmm. So what's the correct explanation? Um, it means his apartment is in a convenient place. Yes, okay. So convenient. So when you say convenient, it's maybe near to market, near yeah. to school, near to everything. So it's yeah. very convenient place, okay? It's a great location also. That is convenient. Number four. Sarah has a comfortable, no, Sarah, Sarah has a comfortable, right? Comfortable. Can you say it? Comfortable. Comfortable. That's it. Okay. Comfortable. <laughs> you, you, you do not say comfortable. Okay. So if we are going to say table only, actually, this one is a compound noun. Oh, okay. Yes. So when you say compound noun, it's what, two words, combine them it. together. That makes only one. So yeah. comfort plus able. Yes. Okay. So comfort plus able. At table can pronounce can can be pronounced as table okay but comfortable not comfortable okay can you say it again comfortable comfortable very good continue coin um she like to sit in it yes so it means the chair is very soft okay soft. yeah uh, when you say comfortable, the person is very comfortably sitting on the chair. Okay, meaning um, it's 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 okay. Okay, um, it doesn't have a hard object in it. Okay, that's why it's very comfortable. Okay, it has a comfort in it. Okay, so okay. that is it is also the same when you say the chair is very so. soft. Okay, very good. Moving on, Koi, the next one, number five. Um, David Grant is really expensive, so he wants to get a roommate. Okay, so what's the correct explanation? So it means David pays a lot of money for his apartment. Yeah, so really expensive, okay? So when it's expensive, you should have to pay a lot of money in it okay yeah. in order for you to leave uh really you you of course if you wanted to leave it like a king so you are going to spend a lot of money in it right okay, okay. yeah or, or or if you wanted to be more more comfortable okay. apartment so you need to pay a lot of money or you need to spend a lot of money okay Okay, but if just you, if you wanted only a, um, of course, a not so comfortable life, so you will not going to spend a lot of money for it. Okay, so expensive. Number six, Koi. Number six, Gemma and So are roommates. Yes. Um, they both live in room two hundred fifty. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, for a while. Actually, if you're talking about the room, there's another, there's another, uh, what is one? Uh, learning koi. If we are talking about a room, we do not read that directly as a number, uh, like 215. We just have to say 215. So room 215. Okay? okay. If we're talking of something, a room. Huh? Okay, so um, you you have to uh, you have to uh, what is one remember that. Okay, if you're talking about something, a place, talking about a room, so we have to read that as room two one five. We do not read that one as the the the, the number two hundred fifteen. But also that's also correct. Okay, but it is it is best to read that as room two one five. Okay. Okay. Okay, call. Continue. So, what's the correct explanation for this? Um, it means Jamal and Saul live together. Yes. Yeah, so, Jamal and Saud live together because they are 
roommates. Roommates, very good. Okay. Uh, when you say roommates, you are uh, you are sharing. Okay, sharing room together. That is roommates. Number seven, Koi. Waller lives with her extended family, including her parents, her grandmother, and grandfather, and two cousins. Okay, for a while, Koi. Can you read this one? In including. Yeah. Okay, because uh, a while ago, um, I don't know, huh? If I heard you saying excluding. Uh -huh. Okay, excluding okay. is different from including. When you say excluding, the opposite of it, including. Okay. Very good. Okay, continue, Koi. Um, so it means Waller live with many family members. Oh, yes, okay. So when we say extended family, of course, of course you have there your grandmother, your grandfather, the, your cousins, okay? So you live together. So that those are extended families, okay? Okay, so... That, that is correct. Walaa lives with many family members. Number eight, Koi. Our city doesn't have public transport, transportation. People usually work or drive. Okay. So what's the correct explanation with this? It's been the city has no buses or trains. Yes. Okay. Because when we are talking about transportation, transportations can re can be referred to buses and trains. So when you say public, of course, all the persons maybe who are riding in that transportation, that's why we call that one as public transportation. Can you say this one again, Koi? Public transportation. Public transportation. Very good, huh? Okay, so meaning the city has no buses or trains in it. Okay? Okay. Wow, very good. So you, again, you did this one with flying colors again. Okay? Congratulations for the job well done, Koi. Okay? Now, going back again to this particular activity, let's try to read the following words. Can you read this one again, Koi? Oh, what is uh, noisy? Noisy. Yes, noisy. Noisy. Okay. Private. Private. Tri actually, private. yeah, actually, um, those who are, uh, what is what, uh, who are not an American English speaker, okay, because American English speakers would say this one as private, okay? Oh. Other one would say this one as private. Yes. Yeah, actually, they call this one as private, private. not private, okay? Okay, but of course, we have to follow the English, okay, the American English accent. So we just have to say private. Okay, private. Yeah, that's correct. Next. Location. Very good. Comfortable. Wow, huh? Okay, that's very good. Um, rent. Okay, rent. Rent. Okay. Rent. Mm, roommate. Very good. Extended family. Extended family. Extended family. Okay, emphasis the X, Koi. Extended family. Is extended family. Good, very good. Next. Extended family. Extended. That's right. Public transportation. Very good. Okay, when you say family, actually we, we pronounce this as family. We do not pronounce this as family. We have to pronounce this one as family. family. Okay? So extended family. A extended family. Yeah, that's right. Very good. See? Okay? So do you have questions with this, Koi? No question. Okay, very good. So let's move on now to our next activity. Okay, so listen to the three conversations. So we need to listen with this particular conversation for a while. Okay, Koi. So we are on lesson number nine, right? Okay, wait. Okay. I have to stop sharing the other one. Okay, for a while. Unit five. 
Oh, why is it unit 5? So we are on unit 9, not unit 5. Okay, for a while. Unit 5. Oh, wait. Listening 1. Activity C. Wait. 1. Hi, everyone. No, Hi, no. Hey. This is not. Okay, for a while, I have two. Unit six, listening two, activity A. No, this this is not. Okay, wait for a while, Koi. Yes, yes. I guess this one. Unit eight, listening one, activity A. Henrietta Levitt, understanding the stars. Wait. Good morning, listeners. I'm Dr. Lakshmi Sharma. No, this one is not. Okay, for a while, Koi. I, I guess this one, the last one. Unit 7. Oh, Listening no. 2. Okay, we don't have an audio of it, Koi. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we just have to... Okay, this is what we're going to do, okay? So... Okay, write the correct name below. Ah, we just have to write the correct picture of this, okay? Okay, yes. so does the person like his or her room? So, of course, we don't know because we don't have an audio, right? So, we, we're just going to preempt, okay? okay? So, when I say preempt, we just have to maybe to think of it or it's it's an idea that maybe they, they like that or they dislike that, okay? Yes. Now, the, the, the best thing to do would be um, the, the understanding point in here, Koi, would be likes and dislikes. Okay. okay. So the main point of this is your likes and your dislikes. Okay. Now, when you say likes, what do you mean by it? Likes, um, we really love them. Yes. Yeah, so if you do that thing, okay, you love that thing, that's what, that would be your likes. If you hate them, that would be your dislikes, right? Okay, now take a look with this particular picture in here. Do you like this one or you do you dislike this? Mm, picture number one. Yes, no. on my phone, I really dislike. It's, yeah. It's, Why? Because it's really messy and untidy. Yes. Actually, actually, the room is, we can say it's, it's a room, right? Yes. But uh, it's, it's messy, actually. <laughs> okay? Yes. And me too, I dislike this one too. Okay? okay? Okay. Take a look with this picture number two. Do you like it or you, do you dislike it? Mm, yes. I think this room is comfortable. And yes. So I like, yes. I like this also. Okay, and then the third one. Oh yes, of course we yeah, love. Uh, we love that. Except for picture number one. Very good. Okay, Koi. So I guess I have to leave for now. Okay, because I have to see my other student. Okay. 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 okay so four minutes before our time. So thank you so much for your time, and I enjoyed again um, learning with you also. Okay, so thank you so much. Have a nice day. God bless, and we'll see you again next meeting. Okay, bye bye, Corey. Yes. Goodbye, Michael. Bye bye. Goodbye.